Heading into the high school football season uh, brings up a question for many parents. Is the sport safe? A new test done right on the sideline looks to make sure any coach, athletic trainer, or parent can keep a student out of a game if they might have a concussion. And Jenna Jane's caught up with Creighton Prep as they started the tests. Hard hits. Getting blindsided. It's all a part of the game. A part Mark Fisher knows too well. In his three years at prep, he's had two concussions. Since then, he's healed and can be on the field, but the first one sidelined him a week. The second, five games. When right when you get it, you're lost. You don't really know where you are. It's confusing. Football is a dangerous game. It can be a dangerous game. Bill Kleber, the athletic trainer at Creighton Prep, has seen enough concussions. It's why he takes every precaution to keep his students safe on the field by starting in the classroom. A new test they're doing at prep, the King Devic, aims to help immediately on the sideline. Before the season, it's five, three, one, six, four, seven, nine, six. students are timed reading a series of numbers as quickly as they can. On the first test, there's arrows to easily guide the eye to the next number. The second test, those arrows drop out. And on the third and final test, the numbers get closer together and a little more scattered. Then after a hard hit, when students' eyes might be a little crossed, they take the test again and compare that to the baseline. A slower time means a possible concussion. But what's good on the sidelines might not be as good in the long run. I wouldn't use it as necessarily the only tool to gauge if a kid has a concussion or the only tool to gauge if he's ready to go back in and play or anything like that. I would gauge it more as just another piece of the puzzle here. That's why at Creighton Prep, students also take the impact test, a series of computer exercises that test long and short term memory. That can help determine when a student's brain is healed enough to get back in the classroom, a practice, and then a game. You're not going to put a kid back on the field with a sprained ankle when you know that ankle is still sprained and he can't move well, so putting them back into an athletic setting when the brain's not fully ready to go is, is not going to promote healing whatsoever. Six, five, three, one. Neither test will prevent a concussion. That comes from proper tackling technique and the right equipment, but by combining the tests, it will give coaches a better idea of when a student can safely be back on the field. Reporting in Omaha, Jenna Janes, WWT 6 News. And these tests are given if a student shows any signs of a concussion like nausea, dizziness, and trouble focusing. And if it's worse, like unconsciousness, vomiting, and consistent short-term memory loss, that's when it's time to consider a visit to the emergency room.